Welcome to our presentation of using a stethoscope with your cardiac electrophysiology team. By the end of this video, we hope that you'll be able to count your child's heart rate using your stethoscope. We also hope you learn a little extra, like why shouldn't you give Elsa a balloon? Because she'll just let it go. Now that you have your new stethoscope, let's learn how to put it together. Here's Caitlin to show you how. Just don't let her tell you her pizza joke. It's super cheesy. Hi guys, my name's Caitlin. I'm a nurse on the electrophysiology team. I am here to teach you how to put your stethoscope together and then show you how to put it in your ears and um, we'll go from there. These are the pieces of your stethoscope that will come in the box. They are not put together, so I am going to teach you how to put them together. This is the check piece and this is the tubing that we will first put together. They just go in there and you push them in as far as they'll go. And then you will take the other end of the tubing and you will take your diaphragm and bell and you will put it in there. This extra baggie right here has extra ear pieces and an extra diaphragm cover. Now that we have our stethoscope put together, let's learn how to use it. We know that using a stethoscope can be hard. This is Levi showing you, it's not that easy, guys. Just stick with us, we'll show you. Okay, so I wanna just talk about the stethoscope really fast. So there are two sides to your stethoscope. So you have your bell, which is the smaller side, and you have your diaphragm, which is the bigger side. The diaphragm is the side that you're gonna to wanna to put on your child's heart. It does turn, so it is possible if you put the stethoscope on your child's heart that you won't be able to hear. Um, so I always recommend before you put it on your child that you put the ear pieces in towards your nose and then you tap on it. You're like, oh, that's not quite loud enough. And so you turn it and tap again and it's much louder. So just kind of play with it and figure out which side is loudest. And then you're good to go. In order to hear your child's heart rate, you'll need to place the belt of the stethoscope somewhere in the middle of your child's chest. Sometimes you can hear the heartbeats better in a different area than someone else, and that's okay. Just do what works best for you. You may hear all kinds of noises. The lungs sound more like a swishing noise. The GI system sometimes sounds like gurgling or bubbling. You may hear your child make noises of their own. And then last but not least, you'll hear the heartbeat. The heartbeat is the only sound in the chest that's more rhythmic than the others and makes a thud sound. In order to count your child's heart rate, you'll have to count each heartbeat over a full minute. Okay. So now let's practice. Remember, count every heartbeat that you hear over a full minute. Look at the screen for a one minute timer. Our team understands that listening to your child's heart rate with a stethoscope may not be that easy. Here's a couple demonstrations.
Our team sincerely hopes that now you feel a little bit more confident when listening to your child's heart rate with the stethoscope. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. You may even ask a question like, where does a fish keep his money? In the riverbank, of course. <laughs>